Hey, welcome to How to Play, brought to you by The Games Capital and Good Games. Today we're looking at the winner of the 2019 Spiel de Jar, or Game of the Year. It's a game called Just One. A party game, heaps of fun, very simple, and very addictive. Before we get into how it works, let's have a look at what's in the box. All right, so there's basically three components to a game of just one. We've got a deck of cards. These cards have five words on each, and players are gonna be guessing those words during the course of the game. Everyone will receive one of these little stands. The card can sit in the front spot of the stand, and the stand is also used as a whiteboard. So you're gonna be using these dry erase markers, of which there are seven. Uh, to write your clues onto the board. They have a, an erase uh, function as well. So that is basically the components. All right, how do you play? Okay, so to begin a game of just one, you're gonna need 13 cards from the deck. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. Don't need the rest of the cards. Each round you'll use 13. And the aim of the game is to score as close to 13 points as you can. Each one of those cards represents a round in the game. Then each player will take turns to be the guesser. So everyone has one of these racks in front of them. If you're the guesser, you'll have a rack and a pen, you'll take the top card from the pile and without looking at it, you'll place it on your stand so that all of the other players can see the words, but you can't. Then you'll choose a word by giving a number from one to five, and that will be the word for that particular round. Then all the other players using their stands will write a clue on the back, a clue to that word. Now here's where the game gets interesting. Before the clues are revealed to the guesser, all of the other players will look and compare their clues. Now if any of the clues are the same, so if two or more players have, you, have given the same clue, or even, as the rules state, a variation of the same. So for example, I think the rules say prince and princess are counted as the same clue. So there's a few things you need to be aware of there, but they're mentioned in the rules. If any of the words are the same, then those words are eliminated and they won't get shown to the guesser. So after you've compared and gotten rid of any words that uh, are invalid, then you can reveal your clues to the guesser and he has to try and guess what his secret or mystery word is. Now he's got a couple of choices. If the clues are good and he's pretty sure that he knows what the word is, well then yes, he'll have a guess. And if he's correct, then that card goes onto the discard pile and counts as a point. If he guesses and he's wrong, then that card gets returned to the box. And as a penalty, the top card from the pile is also returned to the box. So there's another point lost for an incorrect guess. Now, if the clues are quite bad, or there's not enough of them, or if he just has no idea what his word is, then he can choose to pass. And if that's the case, then he'll only lose that one point from, uh, from losing that card. Then play moves to the next player, they become the guesser and a new card is flipped and so on until you go through, get through all of the cards. And as I said before, the aim is to get as close to 13 as you can, so as many accurate guesses as possible. All right, so that's how you play. Let's just have a look, look at a quick example. All right, so for the example, we're gonna use this card here, and let's say the guesser has chosen clue number four. In this case, the word is Hulk. All right, so everybody has written their clues down. Let's reveal them one by one um, and see how we go. So the first clue is green. Okay, pretty good clue on its own, hmm, could be a problem. The next clue is Marvel. Okay, so Marvel and green together, that's pretty good. The next clue is huge. Okay, so that's helpful. Marvel, green, and huge. That's gonna be, just reinforce it. The next clue is smash. Someone's a bit written smash. That's helpful as well. Then the next clue, uh-oh, this is also green. So that means that both of these clues, the two greens, are now out 
and the player won't get to see those. All right, and the final clue, Marvel. So here we go again, we've got another double up, which means both of those clues will be removed. So now all that the player has to go on is huge and smash. And so that may be quite a challenge for him to figure out that the word is Hulk. So you see how important it is that all of the clues stay in. If Marvel and Green were left in, well, then it'd be a no-brainer. The person would almost certainly guess the right answer. So the trick is in this game to give a good clue, but give a clue that you're pretty sure nobody else is going to give. But then the challenge is, well, there's always going to be an obvious clue. Hopefully someone will give that clue, but not more than one person. And that's where the trickiness of this game comes in. All right, that is just one. In summary, the aim of the game is to score as close to 13 points as a team. Each turn, one player will be the guesser and the other players will provide one word clues. If any of the clues match, they are removed before the guesser sees them. The guesser must then attempt to guess the word from the remaining clues. Try and get a perfect score. Just One is an awesome party game. It's very quick, it's very simple, but what you'll find is after you've played one round, you'll play another and then another because it's that kind of game. So if you like word games with a twist, check out Just One. Thanks for watching and happy gaming.